Well, a theme we have been talking about is recovering the domestic and international travel. Hotel stocks have been buzzing on hopes of strong demand in the festive season. Today, we speak to another potential beneficiary and the country's largest luggage manufacturing company, Mr. Dilip Piramal, Chairman at VIP Industries. Hi, Mr. Piramal. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, uh, how is demand on the ground? Strong enough? And if you could uh, tell us whether or not you stick to that, you know, guidance you'd given us earlier, revenues have closed around 2,000 crores and margins at mid-teen levels. Yes, I think uh, we are on track to do that. Okay. And we're trying to improve it. But let us see. I mean, uh, so far we are on track. And demand is strong enough is what you're indicating. Then have you pushed through any kind of price increases? I recall in quarter four, you had pushed through a 5% price increase. And uh, I think in quarter one as well, it was in the vicinity of around 2%. Uh, yes, what, quarter two, another price increase? No, no, I don't think there is any need. But uh, because I think prices are now sort of stabilizing. And in some rare cases, they're coming down also. Okay. So, and increased volumes over the last year, things are looking quite all right. Okay. Mr. Piramal, uh, good morning. This is Sonia here. It's uh, so good to see finally things are back to normal, right? I mean, it's been three really challenging years. But can you give us some color on demand? Uh, domestic travel, international travel, school bags, the wedding season is back in a big way. Uh, so what is the color of the growth that you're seeing? And what kind of sustainable growth do you see over the next one to two years? See, the percentage of growth is not very relevant because we are taking from a sort of from a very low base or lower base, you know. So I would say that uh, if things were normal, we would be having about 10% growth. Okay. Uh, and a 10% growth, I mean, you had targeted around 2,000 crore revenues in FY23. Do you stick to that so guidance? The 10% is if things were normal because now the growth level is much higher. In some cases, they're 50%. Okay. Because the last year was not a normal year. Mm -hmm. So, very difficult to say the percentage of growth. So, we are looking at absolute figures now for the time being. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have it for comparison, but that doesn't mean much, you know, if you've grown 50% in a particular segment or overall also, then that doesn't mean anything. We are not getting elated about that. Mm -hmm. But the absolute figures are more important. Okay, all right. So Mr. The target is more relevant for Are us. you seeing more premium products being sold? No, no, not as yet, because actually they've had some supply problems. They're not problems, but uh, uh, you see what has happened in this COVID period that our manufacturing has all come back to use for us in India and Bangladesh, mm. which means the number of items, SKUs, has gone up tremendously. Yes. You know, on, let's say we are buying from about 10 vendors in China, and now we are making all of that ourselves. So that is a very massive increase. So there are some issues there. So, uh, but it's it's the premium products which were not selling so much in the COVID period are back there, and it's sort of more or less normal now. I would I wouldn't say that there is a particular increase in the premium products, but that can happen maybe after six months when the availability is much better. Okay, all right. Uh, Mr. Piramal, uh, you know, a smaller peer of yours, that was Safari, they have been growing as well at a fast clip. And yes. some of your competitors, maybe they're pulling away market share from you. You had indicated that your market share, you know, had come down a little bit, I think, to around 47% or thereabouts. But you wanted it to get back to around 50%. Is that happening? Are you holding on to your market share? Well, actually, in the last quarter, I think we have gained 1% market share. No doubt our competitors are doing quite well. So I think that means that the overall market is increasing. Mm. Or maybe we've got some market share from the unorganized sector. So the unorganized sector has been badly affected because their supplies came mainly from China. And I don't think they've been able to replace that so fast. Mm. But there is some ambiguity there because we know that the competitors are doing quite well. But our actual market share after, you know, we, we, one of our large, larger competitors, Samsonite, their figures come out only six monthly because they're not a listed company. And except for us and Safari, nobody else is listed. So uh, the information is not as accurate as we would like it to be. But uh, we have verified and we have actually gained 1% market share in the last quarter. And uh, that's the situation. 
Okay. But from personal experience, I must tell you that after not traveling for two, two and a half years, a lot of your luggage uh, goes bad, right? I mean, it starts falling apart. So you have to, now that people have started traveling, you have to replace it. I guess there's outsized <laughs> demand there itself. Yeah, we see the results of all that. And uh, the domestic travel is at a very high level, but international travel is still not picked up so much. Okay. There are restrictions. There are not so many flights today. Yeah. Like Air India is very uh, suppressed. You know, they've, I think, given out a lot of their planes, which okay. were on lease. So the capacities are quite low. But domestic travel is at a very high, and also domestic rates are very high. Mm. They're, they're coming down now. So all in all, it looks for a good, uh, you know, good season, good uh, future prospects. Okay, good future prospects. Hopefully, international travel will also pick up uh, very yes. fast, as much as domestic travel, and things will get better for you. Uh, Mr. Piramal, thanks a lot for joining in and giving us a quick take on the business as well as the way forward. So they hold on to their 2,000 crore revenue target for the full year and demand has picked up, they say. Let's uh, wrap up with Bazaar on that note. Lots of trading ideas lined up for you on our next show, Chartbusters.